Smelter. Uh, so, how would you say your experience at Penn State has been thus far? It's been a good experience, you know, getting to know the guys, uh, getting to learn like the culture up here. It's a good way to just um, just experience and just like to learn and just uh, live up here. What was your experience growing up somewhat close uh, and playing at North Allegheny? What was your experience just uh, around like what you knew about this program before getting here? Um, to be honest, I didn't really know much about the program. I kind of knew more as I was getting more recruited and feeling the feeling like I'm coming here more and getting to know like the coaches. That's when I just started feeling like um, you know, I'm going to come here and I'm going to learn more about this place. How would you say uh, spring ball uh, turned out for you? I would say spring ball turned out pretty good. You know, I got to learn more from the guys, especially Theo and Breton. Um, they've been a big help on me just uh, – being a younger guy and me coming in, just, uh, they've just always been a good mentor. Uh, do you guys see yourself as a group, the tight ends, as one of the best tight end groups in the country, as Coach Franklin has mentioned? Yes, absolutely. We have just a lot of talent in there, especially with Theo, Brad, and Tyler. It's all around good. I mean, it's good athletes all around. In terms of the way you've changed between the time you got here and now, what would you say the top two or three are? Uh, my speed, for sure. And then the second thing would be It was a possibility that maybe you were a tight end and you were a defensive end, something like that. So when did you really settle in at tight end, and why is that the best position for you? Well, I always wanted to play offense. I never – I mean, I've just always been an athlete. So, like, I've been where they always want to put me at. So, but I always want to play on offense. I used to want to play receiver, but just my size and yeah. my strength, they just – like they see me better as a tight end. So that's when I started, you know, I'm just going to put more towards what I'm going to be, trust them, and – as a position group, how do you guys want to make sure that you guys maximize what you add to the offense this upcoming season? Uh, we just make sure we're watching film, we're getting the jugs, we're just training in our individual stuff, making sure we're correcting the small things and um, making sure that we just make sure we're the best in the country. What do you remember about your first time, I guess, seeing or working out in Penn State's weight room? Because you mentioned you've built uh, in weight training because you went to a pretty big high school, but still lifting in a Division One facility must be just a completely different animal. Yeah, it's just completely different. The way they train, the way they work, the way everyone's just locked in when they're working out. And all. It's just a, definitely is a big difference from high school. It was a little bit similar just the way our schedules is, but other than that, it's just a big change from going from high school to college and uh, just like the culture around in the weight room. What are some of your biggest goals for this, this summer personally? Well, first and foremost, our, one of our team goals is just the Big Ten, as always. But for individual, I would say just working on my technique, getting the first like, bases down, like blocking, and especially my speed. I, want, I still want to get faster. My uh, strength still needs to get stronger. I may not be the biggest right now in the world, but I'm hoping to get there. How's your chemistry with some of the younger quarterbacks now that's developing? Um, I think I have better chemistry with Christian Bayou. He definitely has a knack for throwing the corner sometimes. Um, it's probably, and also because we're in the same class, so definitely that helps too. Um, so I'm still trying to build a chemistry with Time to uh, get there. How do you say your time in North Allegheny prepared you for college football? Um, I think they did a good job as put, putting the school in a good uh, environment and um, it being a, they're making it kind of made it more of a college setting so like to kind of to prepare you just to like what a college center will look like. In terms of your, you talk about putting weight on, how close are you to your ideal playing weight and what can you do this summer to get closer to that? Uh, I would say I'm pretty. I'm still pretty close. I uh, still got a couple more to go. It's just that um, I just gotta keep on working out, keep on eating, keep on my same routine, my set my meal plan, and everything like that. What do you guys want to uh, add to the red zone? We definitely want to look for the tight ends more. Um, I feel like we have. Just because we're athletic, we're able just to go up and get the ball. I think you put us more of a spot to uh, in the red zone to uh, make a to make
make a play, we'll make a play. In terms of Coach Hall in the meeting room on the practice field, what's his personality like? What's he like as a teacher and as a coach? Just a, he's just a good all-around dude. He's just a great guy to be around. He's always asking us how, we're, how we are, how we're doing. Him and his wife are just great to be around, really. Him and his kids, actually. What do you like as a teacher in terms of you know teaching, the, whether it's the playbook up on the whiteboard he's, or on the field, in the practice facility, etc. He's a great coach on and off the field. He's just always been, he's always, he's just a great mentor. He just explains things well. He makes it easier for us to understand. And, um, and then when we're basically confident enough, he puts us in and then we'll make a play. Okay. No problem.